before jumping into into marketing, I would like to say that building up a strong portfolio is very important. Sometimes we want to rush uh, into something. We might see other artists very successful on Instagram or, or we know clearly where we want to arrive, but we are failing the basics, which is uh, make sure your technique um, uh, is, is good, um, that you like the way you are your art is, is going to, the direction that you are getting to, um, you, you know the style you want to um, develop or explore more. So the, the majority of the time should be spent in the studio. This is the first step. And if, um, if for any aspiring artist, they feel like um, they want to go very fast and they want to jump on the internet and Instagram and and go big very fast I would recommend like sometimes it's best to get like a part-time job for a while make sure that you have time to develop your art in your studio in a very protected space experiment ruin things until you find your way and then when you're ready you say okay this works I'm proud of of course it always can be better because we're always learning until the very end uh, perfection does not exist so you know i'm not saying into until it's perfect but at least until you are convinced that it's a good piece and then you can focus on the rest marketing yourself doing a good website um and myself i really found it very much easier to rely on the services of companies and organizations that they already established so for example so or bold brush has really really helped me on that um, because I, I had a website before but um, they were, it was not a, a platform that was meant for artists only so with my no knowledge on technical stuff as you could see before of me trying to join on, on, on the on the podcast um, <laughs> I had to you know really like trying to investigate and, and, and try my best to do a decent website but we have so many services that they are all set up for us, ready to go. It's so much easier when you have these platforms and you make use of them. So this has really helped me to at least have, first of all, the website with so, so I could do my newsletter, all my subscribers, everything is organized, everything is, is controlled, and then um, you can start things um, from... Um, from order from from things that can gives you a result a product instead of trying something really chaotic which doesn't bring you anywhere um and then uh yes as well like uh I'm marketing my my art on instagram um the way that bold brush uh, gives tips and helps artists to do the video editing and the photo shoots of the work has really really helped me with the engagement of my page and the followers which is um always very very important to to have a good presence on Instagram and then convert these uh, followers into into uh, art enthusiasts and collectors and buyers um, and even uh, students. Um, so in terms of like uh, um, how you project yourself on social media on the website, um, I would recommend always look professional. Um, don't post anything too personal on your professional page. Um, people, you know, don't care maybe what you cook today, but maybe they do care what's in your studio. You know? So um, um, try to always to be respectful. Um, never play like the the rock star and don't answer people. I mean, you know, people they like your work. They they love it. They spend time commenting on it. They spend time messaging you so answer the dms answer them the comments be grateful be generous so if they ask you questions um share with them you know um i think this is very important um we in in every stage all artists we've been you know let's say um in general it's like we did not we didn't know the information it was not maybe uh, available to us when we were starting and now that social media is such a big thing and we have so many platforms it's it's good to guide people into them and say okay maybe you can try these why don't you try that without any economical purpose just for helping each other um uh, so yes and then uh make use of your newsletter and try to engage into more private and personal conversations to people they are really engaged with what you do 
Um, so I think that really works as well. Um, and eventually, if you are interested as well in art galleries and stuff, um, they will find you anyways. If you have a good portfolio and you have a strong presence on, on Instagram and a, a, a well-designed website, the photos, they look nice, good lightning, good quality, you know, it's just, um, it's a journey. So everything will come up, everything, you know, will work out. But we have to work step by step. And this is the advice that we give to anybody who is listening to not to try to rush into, you know, becoming this like superstar artist, but do things properly from the beginning and try to bring things slowly but steady.